Guys, I used to joke about how much I hated country. Used to make fun of the twang. Used to make fun of my friend. Well, I actually, I was always a nice kid, so I never did this in front of this face. I only backstabbed these people. Made fun of my friends coming to school in their pickup trucks and cowboy sh boots. And now in my 30s, I have discovered that country is freaking dope. It's become one. <laughs> okay, it's, okay it's, it's not my favorite genre, but I find myself listening to it more than anything uh, now. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, check out our, you know, Seb tries to list, uh, like to like a country playlist just to see we, we, we've we've arranged it chronologically just so that you all can see what it was like progressively getting more accustomed to country and, and getting to the point where we enjoy it. But now we're checking out country Christmas music. I'm down. This uh, video was sponsored by Michael J. Michael says Loretta Lynn. So we just checked out Loretta Lynn for the first time a little bit. Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty were a duet for 20 something years. Wow. Here is one of the funniest Christmas songs you'll ever hear. Merry Christmas from the family. Well, okay. I'm actually really looking forward to this holiday season. So we are getting a lot of Christmas requests. So we're going to, we are going to be prioritizing those uh, for the next few weeks. So let's roll it. Also, remember to uh, come hang out Thursday nights at 7 30 p.m. Mountain. Ali and I are, are doing a, li a live stream. We'd love to just hang out with you. Let's roll it, guys. Sister brought her new boyfriend. He was a Mexican. <laughs> we didn't know what to think of him. Tell us sign Police Navi. Oh man. Police Navi. <laughs> I, uh, I thought this was going to be Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty, but no, this is just a funny song. Robert Earl Keen. Oh, dude, that's hilarious, man. I'm not Mexican, I'm Chilean, but I but at the same time, I totally relate. My wife's, fam my wife's family, they are the whitest people ever, and I freaking love them. There was never any awkwardness. They were always really open, my, like they were awesome. Sometimes I feel cheated out of an experience like this, though. That would have been awesome. That would have been hilarious. I did not see that coming, dude. I'm, I'm rewinding it back to that spot with uh, when they brought it up. <laughs> they all have mustaches. <laughs> supposed to be that color i don't know i don't really drink margaritas okay what a, what a clever what a clever song dude oh the sun's coming out gotta close these guys yeah, i'm trying to see if there's like a better quality version of it but no there isn't but whatever it's this is entertaining Them. But when they tried to plug their motor home in, they 
bright blue our Christmas lights <laughs> Cause David knew just what went wrong So we all waited out on our front lawn He threw a breaker and the lights came on And we sang silent night Oh, silent night Turn the ball game on Make bloody berries Cause we all want one Send somebody to the stop and go We need some celery and a can of baked snow A bag of lemons and some diet sprites A box of tampons, some Salem lights Hallelujah, everybody say cheese Merry Christmas from the man Dude! <laughs> oh man! Oh dude, that was great! Oh man! Okay, so like what I love about that, it's that yeah, in, in Christmas time, a lot of the stuff that we listen to, right, just brings up, it, it's all about that ideal family setting, but it's not a common thing, to be honest. All of our families are broken in certain ways, and some of our families are, there's no other way to put it, messed up. But you know what? Christmas is a good opportunity. Hopefully, as messed up as things may be in that family, things haven't gotten out of out of hand. But if there's an ability to still come together, that's uh, that's great. And to just accept this is who we are. So that story with the Mexican coming in, hilarious. But see, they were like, oh, uh, Feliz Navidad. Like, that's great. And then the chick going through AA and whatnot. Come on in. Yeah, they're getting plastered on Christmas. But what it does is that it it helps remind you like, hey, it's a it's a good season to just celebrate, even even if it's not in the stereotypical, typical way. So if your family's weird, perfect. Lean into that. There is like just a song version of it. Like, I want to see if I can put this in our country playlist in the car. So every Tell us all the perform me. okay this is from live yeah it's all from the live version okay so it sounds the same the comment section on here are, uh, on here is are they're hilarious this one guy says quite possibly the only Christmas song that truly brings me joy and the true feelings of the holiday season I am the Mexican in my white adoptive family this song always me always makes me crack a smile and a little teary eyed at the same time <laughs> dude. This song is to Christmas song what Charlie Brown was to Christmas cartoons. Pure genius. Says more about the true spirit of Christmas than any preacher would say in an hour sermon. This is great. My first time hearing the song was at my girlfriend's dad's house. He played the song. He looked at me and had a big laugh. I was the Mexican boyfriend. <laughs> Oh man, I love Mexicans. Guys, all of our families have issues. Let's just, that's fine. Let's enjoy. Can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What were your thoughts the first time you heard it? And then let's also ask this question. Comment down below. What what is your favorite Christmas song? Honestly, you re you responding helps you know promote the video on, on YouTube as well. So it would be much appreciated. Much love, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Let's keep hanging out, guys. Much love. Peace out.